Hey guys, it's Bren, and I'm here with my complete post-burn review of Peach on Earth from Bath & Body Works. This one is new for fall, or no, not for fall, for holiday slash winter 2020, and uh, I absolutely love it. I already did a haul video. If you watched that, you know that I was a big fan of this, and I actually went back and got more, so I now have five of them, um, four and a half now, I guess, and I, I really, really love it. I mentioned in that video that I might come back and do like a full post burn review because I just had a lot to say about it more than was appropriate for a big haul video. But I also wanted to compare it to a lot of other peach scents that they've done. Um, for one reason, because I'm a big fan of peach scents. I have quite a few of them uh, from Bath and Body Works and from other companies, and I've always just really liked peach. Like even when I was a kid, I always wanted like peach candy and everything. I don't know. Um, I could not do a video like this on like rose scents, right? Because like that is not my thing. I don't have a lot of them. Don't ask me to comment on the history of Bath and Body Works rose scents or anything, but peach. I feel like if I'm an expert in any area. This is probably one of them. Uh, <laughs> so that's one reason I wanted to do this. I just get a chance to talk about peach candles, but also because there's been a lot of chatter online about what peach on earth could be a repackage of, and if it's a repackage, or if it's a tweak of a different candle, what it compares to. And people have wanted to know, like, is it peach cobbler? Is it peach meringue? Is it Georgia peach? You know, so I want to answer those questions at least give my opinion on the answers to those questions. And I will say right off that uh, it is not a repackage of any other peach scent that they've done, but it does share notes with a lot of other candles. So as we go through, I will share my thoughts. So let's get started. So the first peach candle that we're gonna talk about is also kind of my first Bath & Body Works three wick candle that I bought a lot of. It's not my very first one, but prior to buying this candle, I was just like a regular person who would sometimes go into Bath and Body Works when I was at the mall and like I maybe had like two or three Bath and Body Works candles but I didn't really know anything about it you know it I was normal and then when I got this candle <laughs> all of a sudden I just went crazy I loved it so much I was uh, seeing this guy at the time who also really liked it and he bought a bunch of them and he would be burning it every time I would go over there and so it kind of has some nostalgia with it for me but this was the gateway candle to everything that you see back there <laughs> and it is market peach from early 2013 and the notes on this one well they didn't just list notes back then they had like little descriptions I won't read all of these but because it's an old one it's the first one I'll read it and it says fresh from the stand peaches strike a juicy note in a blend of vanilla featuring hints of citrus and raspberry and what I really liked about this candle is that I think until Market Peach, um, most peach candles that I had encountered or peach scented things were really sweet, like peach candy, but not necessarily realistic. And this one, which was part of the Fresh Picked collection, it did smell realistic to me and it wasn't too sweet. In fact, it's a little bit sour and really does bring me back. You know how scents can transport you, right? Anyway, <laughs> um, my mom actually hates this candle because she says it reminds her of like the pit of the peach, like where, you know, it starts to get kind of red and it's really sour on the inside. But I really like the tartness because I just feel like it makes it more realistic and not like too sweet. And so this is a nice, for me, I, I think it's a nice, like straightforward, realistic, slightly sour peach. Um, and this has been redone many, many times. So back in the day, it was Market Peach. I will never burn this one because of the sentimental value because it's the only one I have left. And even though you can still get this today, it has been renamed Georgia Peach. So a couple years after I got this one, maybe it was 2015, 2016, I don't know, somewhere in there, um, they started calling it Georgia Peach and it's been Georgia Peach ever since, which probably is a cuter name. But to me, it will always be Market Peach and um, someone asked me in the comments on my haul video, they said like, if you, you know, could only keep like 10 candles, what would they be? And it's funny because I have thought about that 
And it's weird, like I shouldn't be thinking this way, but sometimes I look at my shelf and I'm like, okay, if my house was burning down and I had everything else out, like my computer and the animals and everything, but I could only grab like a handful of candles, <laughs> which ones would I grab? And you know, this would be one of them, not because I can't get it again and all the rest would be like rare ones you can't get anymore. But I would grab this one because, uh, you know, it was my first and you know, the sentimental value and everything. Uh, some other ways that that one has been repackaged. So it has, it is called now Georgia Peach. If you see Georgia Peach, comes out in summer usually. It's the same as Market Peach. But they've also called it like White Peach. So this came out as part of a Paris or France themed collection. And for some reason they call it White Peach here. And they say it has vanilla in it. And you can argue with me on if it's different, but it smells exactly the same to me. I mean, I'm pretty sure that the main consensus among everyone at that time was that, yeah, it's just a repackage of Market Georgia Peach. So it was called White Peach in this one collection for whatever reason. I don't know if it's because white peaches are more popular in France or what. I don't know. Or they were just trying to be fancy. And then you all remember the low profiles? You don't really still do those much anymore. I don't think they went over as well as they thought they might. Um, but the low profile candles had a collection where they all just had very simple names. So like one was just like lemon and one was just like rose or whatever, I don't know. Lilac was one, I think. And this one was just peach. And this is also Georgia peach, market peach, white peach. They're all the same. Um, again, I'm sure there's someone out there that would debate me on that, but the general consensus was that, yeah, it's just Georgia Peach, and I definitely think it is. So those first three that I just showed you are all really the same, and they're all the same as what's known today as Georgia Peach. Peach on Earth, is it similar or not? Well, the peach note in it is kind of similar. It's more similar to this than it is to some of their sweeter peach notes. However, because of the other things going on in Peach on Earth, like the cinnamon, and the little bit of vanilla that's in there. It comes off a lot smoother, a lot less harsh, a lot less like that sour pit of the peach smell that my mom gets. Um, but I do think that the base peach note that they use probably is Georgia peach. Um, but then they've just, they've done so much to it, it doesn't smell exactly the same anymore. But it does have that realistic sour-ish kind of peach underneath for me. Um, so I would just be willing to bet that, you know, in the combination of oils that they put together to make this candle, that that base peach note that they're using is the same. Um, but let's continue because there's a lot more peach candles to compare it to. So I'm kind of going chronologically here a little bit. Um, so for many years, I think Georgia Peach and Peach Bellini were the two big peach candles that they put out. I don't have a Peach Bellini, but I'm, I actually did want to talk about it. I don't have a Peach Bellini. It's like the one peach candle from Bath & Body Works that I don't own, and it's because I don't really like it because it's too sweet for me. So whereas Market Peach Georgia Peach is like a sour, realistic peach, Peach Bellini is a sugary, sweet, candied peach type scent. Um, not really my thing. It does have a little bit of an effervescence to it, kind of like the Champagne Toast candle, but it's a really sweet kind of candy sweet peach and there's really no tartness at all. And so I don't think it smells very realistic. It's more like a peach flavored type of candle than like a peach candle. Um, so Peach Bellini, I don't have one. I don't typically, I don't really enjoy it, but I know a lot of people that do. I'm not saying anything bad about it, but that one's always been out for a while too. And there's really no similarities between Peach on Earth and Peach Bellini, in my opinion, they're very different. So the next candle that I wanna talk about, I also don't actually have one and I wish I did because this was one where people were really wondering if Peach on Earth was the same. Uh, and it's not, but it is very similar and that's Harvest Peaches. So Harvest Peaches, I wanna say it was late 2013 in kind of like a fall fresh picked and Harvest Peaches was our good old market peach with cinnamon. And that was really it. It wasn't any more complex than that. It was just the same old market peach scent, Georgia peach, whatever you wanna call it. And then they threw a little bit of cinnamon on there. I remember reviewing it and saying that it smelled like you had like a bowl of peaches and you had just sprinkled some cinnamon, maybe a touch of sugar, and that was it. Um, now peach on earth, being that peach on earth is 
peach with cinnamon, you'd think like, I can see why people were wondering when it came out, like, is it a repackage of Harvest Peaches? But peach on earth, it's just, it's smoother. You have the vanilla, it's more, it's more dessert-like. And Harvest Peaches was just, it, peach on earth is kind of like if you took that Harvest Peaches and you just made it like way better, you really improved upon it. Um, because there was nothing more going on in Harvest Peaches except for market peach and cinnamon. And it wasn't that great. It was kind of like, I would say that it was a take on uh, market peach, but I would say peach on earth is really like they share notes, but I wouldn't just call it like a tweak on market peach or a take on it, right? Like it's a little bit more different. Whereas Harvest Peach was just throwing cinnamon into the market peach scent. Then in 2016, yeah, winter 2016, we got peach meringue and I love peach meringue and I have splurged and paid a lot of money for more peach meringue on Mercari. Uh, because I didn't have enough. And Peach Meringue was kind of one of those cult favorite Bath & Body Works candles where like it came out and people liked it, but people really liked it a lot more after it was gone and they couldn't get it anymore. Um, so it is one that will sell for quite a bit on the secondhand market. But uh, Peach Meringue is basically uh, Market Peach or Georgia Peach with vanilla but what's really nice about it is that there's a lot of vanilla it's not just like a hint you know like in the vanilla balsam candle where like it's still balsam but there's like a little bit of vanilla you know what i mean it's not like that it's like actually very very present it's really like a, a 50 50 mix of peach and vanilla and the vanilla really calms down the sourness of the peach but you can still tell that it's that georgia peach scent and if I had to describe this one, I would describe it as a peach cream saver. And I don't know that that's a thing. I don't know that cream savers candy ever had a peach one. If they did, I probably would have had it because I like peach so much. Um, but if you can imagine what that would smell like, <laughs> this real, peach meringue really smells like that. I feel like we use cream savers to compare a lot of Bath & Body Works candles to. Like uh, strawberry pound cake got compared to a strawberry cream saver a lot. And blueberry sugar is compared to a blueberry cream saver, which I also, I think, exists, but I can't be sure. But yes, if there ever was a peach cream saver, or if you can imagine what that would smell like, peach meringue was it. It's so vanilla. The vanilla is really sweet. There's not really bakery, but it's kind of like a vanilla frosting feel, along with that nice tangy peach. And up until Peach on Earth, Peach Meringue was my favorite peach candle from Bath & Body Works. And now I'm not so sure. But if we talk about comparing the two, um, as I mentioned, all three of these, Peach on Earth, Market Peach, Peach Meringue, have kind of the same peach note, but Peach on Earth has way less vanilla. It is not like Peach Meringue where there's a lot of it and that's very noticeable. It's rather like Peach on Earth just has a little bit that just kind of smooths it out, but it's not near as much. And then of course, Peach on Earth has cinnamon too. So it's definitely not a peach meringue uh, repackage at all. They're both really nice. I honestly just, I don't know which one I like better. I like them both a lot. Moving on to the next peach candle I have. When did this one come out? Late 2017. So vanilla bourbon peach. Um, there were a few people that just based on the notes of Peach on Earth wondered how it compared to this one. And it's actually quite different. I don't really get a lot of vanilla in this one either. So I guess if they did have anything in common, it would maybe just be that they both only have just a slight bit of vanilla. But the peach in vanilla bourbon peach is so sour. It is like the red part of the peach that's right next to the pit. And that's like it, like it's not sweet at all. Just smelling this one almost makes me wanna just be like, you know, like it's so sour and there's definitely something boozy about it. So it's really like the name, not a lot of vanilla, boozy note for sure and sour, sour peach. And it kind of weirdly works, um, but there's no cinnamon. Uh, it's not as sweet as peach on earth. It is definitely not the same. 
It is very interesting, but not the same as peach on earth. Um, and then, so next would come peach cobbler, but I'm going to save that one for last because I think it's the most similar and it's the one that people most wanted to know how it compared to peach on earth. So we'll do that last. But um, before we get to that, um, peach sugar cone, peach sugar cone, y'all know I like it if you've been watching my channel because this was the last one that I went crazy over that I bought a bunch of and it was online exclusive, but I loved it so much. This was from earlier this year. Um, this one was poured at the end of 2019 so but I think it was like a release for early 2020 and it is not at all like peach on earth it's very different it's a sweet peach um but I love what else is going on in this it's not like candy like like uh peach bellini that I don't like but it's like peach ice cream I mean it really does smell like the name it's got a really nice smooth vanilla and just a little bit of bakery and it smells a lot like the Yankee Candle peach cobbler candle uh, but that one was so weak and this one's pretty strong but it's mostly vanilla and sweet peach so it's really not like peach on earth at all but it's like my go-to peach summer scent now. Um, of course we also have snowy peach berry and this one was cranberry peach from last year. I already talked about this one in my haul video. The peach in here is so mixed in with everything else that's going on that this candle to me doesn't scream peach. Um, I'm only talking about it here because it is one of the main things in the name. And of course, there are a lot of other candles that Bath & Body Works has put out that have peach in them. Raspberry peach macaron, for example, um, and a variety of like tropical scents that had peach as a note. But in this video, I'm kind of just covering candles where peach is like the highlight or it's in the name. Um, but more so like raspberry peach macaron never really smelled like peach to me. <laughs> um, but since it is featured in snowy peach berry, I'll mention it, but it's here. The peach is, it's probably more like the peach Bellini peach, to be honest, but the cranberry is tart, so that like makes it a little bit sour, but I don't think it's the same peach that's in Peach on Earth or Georgia peach or anything. This one's just fruity, you know what I mean? So then that leaves us with the last one that I wanted to compare Peach on Earth to, and that is Peach Cobbler, which came out in fall 2019. And I think that most people thought that Peach on Earth would be a repackage of this one, probably because the notes are so similar, but also this one's kind of recent. So it's more likely that they would repackage this than like Harvest Peaches from 2013. It's really rare that they bring back like super old candles anymore. Although they did bring back the snow apple mint with frost experiment. So you never know. Um, but when peach cobbler came out, a lot of people, including myself, were comparing it to harvest peaches. So, you know, they all are peach with cinnamon. Um, but the notes on this one were peach, cinnamon sugar, and golden baked pie crust. And what I can tell you is that peach on earth is way better than peach cobbler. Peach Cobbler, I was not really a huge fan. As much as I like peach scents, there's something a little musty about it. It's definitely that peach, uh, market peach, Georgia peach, peach scent. And then yes, there is cinnamon, but the cinnamon is not sweetened up really. There, there's not enough sweetness. I know it says cinnamon sugar, but to me, it, there's not really sugar in it. It's not sweet. and. As for a bakery note, there is kind of, it's not like a great crust note. It's not like that good crust note that they put in warm apple pie or blueberry pie. Um, they probably should put that with peach. I think that would be really nice. I don't know. It might be kind of redundant now next to peach on earth, but this peach cobbler has like a, a little bit of like a crumb cake type of note, but to me it comes off as stale. It comes off as like a stale bakery note and it's not sweet enough and it feels very disjointed this candle it doesn't kind of meld and all come together it's sour peach it's cinnamon it's not sweet enough and the bakery note is kind of off and kind of stale to me so i was never really a big fan of the peach cobbler but then we finally get to peach on earth and peach on earth is it's so much better peach on earth it is, like I said, same peach base note as Georgia peach, but not near as sour. Less of that pit <laughs> smell or that, 
that harsh part that you might not want to eat of the actual peach. Um, it's like a it's like it's ripened up, like Georgia peach ripened up a little bit. And what's nice here is that the cinnamon is sweet. It tastes more bakery cinnamon like, like the you know cinnamon that you'd want to actually consume. And then again, I don't really get so much vanilla as it's really just a creaminess, something that kind of, you know, if, if they didn't call it vanilla, they called it like whipped cream or something, um, you know, I I would smell it the same way. It does It's not necessarily vanilla, but there is this creaminess that really brings it all together and it makes it a much more cohesive scent than some of these other peach ones, more cohesive than peach cobbler, more cohesive than harvest peaches. Um, it just really smooths it out. And you know how I said with harvest peaches, it, I, it, I imagine eating like a bowl of like cut up peaches with like cinnamon on them, right? This is more like I'm eating homemade peach pie filling, not from a can, but like fresh homemade, like you took fresh peaches and you made peach pie filling out of it. And then you sprinkled cinnamon and sugar all over the top. And then you put a little bit of like a whipped cream or something on there. There's not a bakery note. There's no crust. There's no cake. There's nothing like that. But it doesn't need it. It's sweet peaches with cinnamon and sugar and a creamy whipped cream slash vanilla type of scent. It is so good. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think it's a repackage. It is nicer. It is an improvement. It is whoever's out there at Bath and Body Works working on scents, putting things together. Um, you have improved upon the cinnamon peachy scents of the past, and I really, really love this one. I think, I mean, I know my top three peach candles from Bath and Body Works would be this peach meringue and peach sugar cone. Um, but I, I really don't know peach meringue. It's hard for me to say that that one's not one of my favorites because I still really love that. But that is sweeter. That is a different mood. That is a different mood than when I want to burn peach on earth. Because even though peach on earth has that nice spiciness and it is sweet and it is dessert like, it's still more sour because of how much vanilla is in peach meringue. It's still more sour than peach meringue. But it is offensive to compare this to peach cobbler. It's so much better than that. Now, I know some people do not like market peach, Georgia peach. Um, Tina Delicious, I think he's called it like trashy peaches before. He doesn't like it. <laughs> My mom doesn't like it, like I said. Some people hate it. I would still urge anyone who thinks they don't like that scent to try peach on earth because I think that even though the peach is similar, uh, what they've done with it has improved upon the old standard Georgia peach scent and really given it some more depth and again sweetened it up and it's just come together really nicely. As far as performance on this one, um, I have had no problems so far. I I haven't burned it like down to the bottom, but I want to save it. So I'm trying not to do that. I feel like I've been burning it a lot though. So this one seems like it's going to last and not like burn too fast, but I haven't had puny wicks or anything like that. It's actually been perfect. It's been like a great burn. Um, I have had no issues, just a little bit of trimming the wicks. You can see there's like a little bit that needs to be trimmed there after I last time I put it out, but nothing crazy. I mean, it's just the right amount. It's strong to me. It is um, throwing like probably a good seven out of 10, you know, where you want a stronger candle to be not overwhelming, but like definitely there, you can definitely smell it. Um, it's been moving between floors in my house. If I have it going for a while, I can go upstairs and I can smell it up there. I can go downstairs and I can smell it down there. Um, so it's been great. Um, I will mention, as I did in my haul video, that I have the international label, and I don't know if that makes any difference. Um, Mrs. Hess on Instagram said she also has the international label, and she also gets a lot of cinnamon spice, and that the candle smells strong to her. Whereas I've had some other people, I've seen some other people, I should say, on Instagram say that they didn't think it was that strong, and that they didn't get a lot of cinnamon, and they might have been smelling the regular label, because I've seen people post the regular label on Instagram. So maybe there's a difference between the two. I 
I haven't been able to find one yet that's not the international label. If I do and I smell it and it seems different, I will surely update you on my Instagram and let you know. Um, but I, I, that's probably not the case. <laughs> it's probably just the case of people having different noses, but I did want to mention that just in case um, this video you know, goes out of date because we all find out there's two versions or something, who knows? But if you like peach, you gotta check this one out. I love it so much. It's so good. It's in the fancy lid collection, so it is a couple extra dollars because you get this kind of iridescent lid with it. It's really good. It's great. I think that's all I have to say. Um, I hope you enjoyed kind of watching me talk about peach candles for a while and going through the history of Bath & Body Works peach candles. There's probably some that I've forgotten or that I never got or that I don't have. And like I said, I only started in 2013, so anything prior to that I don't have. But, um, but that's my experience with the peach candles and peach on earth does seem new and it's really, really good. I've said that enough now. I've said I like it enough. Um, <laughs> all right. Uh, like and subscribe and I will be back hopefully with a review of peppermint sugar cookie, though I haven't found that one yet, but I am going out of town tomorrow. I'm going to try to hunt that down. Otherwise, there's all kinds of other stuff coming up that I plan to talk about. So I will see you again soon. You can follow me on Instagram in the meantime at candles and music. Thanks for watching. Bye.